I now like to show you kind of the moment where we start to reach what I call heaven in this work. It's not the only moment of heaven, but it's one of those like awesome moments. And I almost regret even bothering to show on piano because I just know there's no way that the real beauty of this music can be perceived on a piano. Certainly not in a recording, not me playing. Um, there's no way. You, you really have to hear it live, but I want to hopefully, if you're willing to use your imagination, I can help give you a teaser, okay? So let's look at the score. We have this. In the top, in the woodwinds, okay? And notice when we start here. So we, let, let's rewind. Notice the sad quality. Oh, it's so tender. Okay, but this is what happens. So what happens is the music grows. Now, you won't be able to perceive this on a piano, but let me just show you, if you don't believe me, look at the musical score. Um, so we have this chord here. And notice that previously it was, like we said, the flutes and the oboes we see the clarinets come in on the bottom. And we also see the trumpets without the mute because previously they had a mute to block the sound. So it's going to have strength to the sound. It's going to have a brighter quality to the sound. But it's still marked piano. So what that means is it's still going to start tentative. But what I'm doing is I'm adding instruments in a subtle manner that you won't notice consciously, but will contribute to this feeling of growth, the crescendo. And then let's look at measure 155. So we had here. One of the hard things about playing piano here is like, we have a crescendo, which means it gets fuller, but with a piano, you have to rest. It's just much harder to convey that crescendo. But um, we'll notice that the French horns come in. They come in down here. Okay, and so in this crescendo, we have more people entering. But notice how I have people enter, kind of in the bottom, because the chord is here. And the French horns are done here. So it's a subtle feeling, but I kind of, I add the clarinets and the, the, the trumpets. And then, you know, half a second later, I add the, the French horns, all four of them. Let me see if there's any final thoughts before we get to part two. Ah, yeah. Um, one other, so we definitely hear an arrival, right? That's clear, okay? Da, da, da. And I want to, in this part two, I'm going to really talk about the Disney-like Disney -like aspect of that. But if we look at the musical score, in addition to having the trumpets and the clarinets come in in measure 154, the second half, we also have a suspended cymbal. So suspended cymbal is, I don't know, how to, it's a cymbal <laughs> that's kind of, I don't know. I can't describe it. I wouldn't even bother. But basically, it adds kind of a sizzle sound, like shh, and then you kind of like do a, what's called a tremolo, kind of beat on it, so it 
the sound kind of accumulates and then you strike for, of course, the... So, so I hope you're able to appreciate the supreme beauty that is in Help Is On The Way, my first orchestral work. And in the next part, we're going to look at um, the actual moment of heaven where this music truly is in heaven. I'll see you there. It truly sounds like it's out of a Disney film. It's like you're kind of on a magic carpet and you kind of, you have a gust of wind that whoo, brings you to the top of the world. And you're like, oh my God. And you immediately come